Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Kyle here and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up the payment gateway on your website. Yes, WordPress works. Let's get right into this. No time to waste. So our objective here is to have a select box like this where the user can select an amount of NFTs they want to purchase and they press this button here which brings up the payment gateway and the user can then proceed to make their order. Let's make that happen. For this one, you're going to need to have a project, set up some prices, a website, and about five minutes. Let's get into it. Come into your console and let's have a look at one of our projects, manage NFT prices section. And the key thing for this is that you want to add in exact price quantity pairs. So by this, I mean the system matches the quantity and price together. It links them. So for example, in this case, I could say three NFTs for 30. And if I activate that, this means the only possible options our users are going to have is to either buy one for 10 or three for 30. They could do two separate purchases of one for 10 to get 20. But you see the idea equally. I could say, sorry, uh, seven NFTs for 33. And that's equally valid, right? So you have to specify you don't say like a price per item. It's literally just these pairs and there's no other options for the user. Once we've done that, you want to come down here, look at the code it's generated for you, check through the different styles of buttons, see which ones you like, whatever color matches your website. And you're going to notice that if you look very carefully, you can see here and here, that code is changing slightly based on what you, um, what you put in and the different colors you give it. You'll also notice this C equals seven. That's now C equals one. And that's because of the price I've set here. Now, we don't want one button per quantity price pair. We want one button and the user just selects the quantity. So for now, though, I just want you to understand that the thing what determines it is literally that single value there, that number, which has to match up with what we've set here. So without further ado, let's copy this code and go to our website. I'm going to show you how to do this in WordPress because it's the most common. Equally, if you open up the Knowledge Hub, go down to the Workflow and then Payment Gateway, you can see here. And I'm just going to scroll down. We will give you the link to this exact part here. But you can see Shelter Pets have given a tutorial on this video. I'm essentially just redoing that in full detail for you now. You'll find this code here. You're going to have to grab that as well, but I'll show you exactly what we're doing. Just keep this page open and this one as well. It's going to make it a lot easier. I'm going to paste that original code from the NFT Maker pricing console. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to add a new rail or a block, sorry, a new block. Uh, type in custom HTML. You'll find it here and then simply paste that. And we're going to hit preview and you'll see we've got a single button. OK, and the page is loaded. You can see here we've now got one button, which if we click it, pops up the gateway, but it's only showing us the 30 option. And that's because that's what I pasted from before. Go back to the edit. Um, you want to go copy that code out of the knowledge hub. So I'm just going to show you that. And we're going to drop that above and you'll see it adds in a few lines here. Key thing is you want these options to match exactly what you've put in the, uh, in the pricing. So I'm going to have one, three, seven you're probably going to have one, two, three, four, five through to 10. That's what most people do. Um, we do support up to 20 in one go. Um, so anyway, that now lines up and you can add new new options in very simply by uh, copy paste in the row like that. All right, I'm not going to do that though. We'll keep the three. And then finally, you can see there's a comment in there. The key point is it's saying change this part so that it has this plus NFT value in it. Now you could just copy that. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just take this bit here because it's more illustrative. And we're going to look for const payment URL, which is here, look. And we're simply going to delete the three and paste that plus there. And we can now delete this line here because it's just a, just a comment. And then if we now preview that, you see we've now got this select box here. This should now work exactly how we're looking for. We select the number one, we click here, order one item for 10 ADA, perfect. Let's try again with seven. 33 ADA for seven, just like we said. 
and finally just to prove it does all work three and there you have it within about three minutes and a couple of bits of copy paste you've got the best user interface on the market for allowing your customers to mint their nfts on demand thank you very much have a great day happy minting